And don't be fooled, you are not seeing double. Hi everybody, Nikki Mara here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you've all had a fabulous week and are ready for yet another fun video. Now I won't lie, I did have an unexpectedly busy week this week, so this video is going to be quite a bit shorter than some of my other ones. But even though today is shorter, it is no less exciting because I am touching on one of my favorite topics of all time, as today we are going to be going through Disney animated movies and picking out my favorite instances of reused animation and audio. Now for those of you who don't know, in animation, there is a specific technique called rotoscoping. Rotoscoping is when you take a piece of already existing animation or live action footage and animators will animate characters over that using the original media as a reference for the brand new scene. And because Disney has a library of some of the most rich and beautiful animation of all time, in certain instances, they have actually gone back and used previous movies as inspiration for brand new scenes in brand new animated movies. And it is one of my favorite things to go through Disney movies and to pick out my favorite instances of this reused footage. And the same thing also happens with audio. You might happen to pick up on some audio clips that you would recognize from multiple movies. And so in today's video, we are going to go through all of Disney's movies and pick out my top 10 favorite instances of reused animation and audio. If you're new here, hi! My name is Nikki Mara and I am a Disney content creator. I got my start over on TikTok but have moved on over to YouTube and I have been loving making long form content for you guys. And while today's video is a little bit shorter than some of my other videos, if you are a fan of all things Disney and Pixar, make sure to hit subscribe down below so that way you never miss out on future magic from me. And if you guys like these videos where I go through Disney animated movies and pick out some of the secrets and talk about some of the behind the scenes of the movies, then make sure to hit the like button down below so that way I know you guys really love the analyses of all of these animated movies. I cannot wait for the future when we go really in-depth on each individual movie, but believe me, that is a series that I am planning and so excited about. So yes, before we jump into today's top 10 list, I am going to go through some brief disclaimers and conditions for the list today. But if you'd like to jump right into my top 10 favorites, then you can head right to this timestamp. First and foremost for our disclaimers, I am not associated with the Walt Disney Company. I don't speak for the brand or their company and all opinions in this video are just my own. But secondly, I welcome any and all opinions surrounding these wonderful Disney characters and Disney movies down in my comment section. So make sure to leave all of your thoughts on these really cool instances of reused animation and audio. And if you happen to know about other instances of reused animation and audio, make sure to leave them down below so that way other people looking in the comments can find some more examples if they happen to be looking through some Disney movies. And thirdly, for the disclaimers, I do want to give a brief spoiler warning into each of the Disney movies that we are going to be talking about today. So if you don't want to see any footage of any Disney animated movies, as you might think that might spoil a movie for you, then you can just skip on up to the next number on today's list. Next, moving on to our conditions. Probably the most simple conditions list I will ever have, which is we are going to be talking about reused animation and audio in Disney animated movies. And so it's simply that, just the Disney animated movies and they're my top 10 favorites. <laughs> Oh, and even though it's not a condition, I did also want to mention that all of the clips that I'm going to be showing today are indeed heavily edited. I had to do some flipping of footage and also some discoloration, so if the footage looks a little bit wonky, it is just because I'm trying to show you guys the reuse of animation while also trying to follow all of Disney and YouTube's copyright rules, so that way there is no sort of issue with bringing this magic to you guys. But I highly recommend re-watching your favorite Disney animated movies and finding these instances on their own, so that way you can see the magic as it was intended for you to see it. And so with all of the disclaimers and conditions out of the way, I believe we are ready to start my list today. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a snack and a drink, and let's get into my top 10 favorite instances of reused animation and audio in Disney animated movies. First, we are starting off with number 10 on today's list, which is a brief cameo of Princess Aurora in Oliver and Company. I absolutely love this instance of reused animation because it is a blink and you will miss it moment. As we are going through the streets of the city, if you happen to look very closely, in the background you might see a very familiar looking blonde woman. This woman, who has mere seconds of screen time in Oliver and Company, is actually rotoscoped from Briar Rose walking through the woods from the movie Sleeping Beauty. This one is so unbelievably fun and I always try to pause Oliver and Company right at the right moments so that way I can try to pick her out. And I'm not going to tell you where she is, I'm going to see if you guys can find it on your own. And while I could have included this brief instance of Princess Aurora in my Finding Hidden Disney characters in Disney Disney movies video, 
I didn't feel as though it was appropriate to include it in that video considering I don't really think this is supposed to be Princess Aurora, but just a regular blonde pedestrian that happens to bear a very strong resemblance to Princess Aurora. <laughs> but next we're gonna move on up to number nine on my list because this one mentions multiple Disney movies. At number nine is multiple appearances of Bambi's mother in not only The Rescuers, but also The Jungle Book and Beauty and the Beast. Now, right before one of the most heart-wrenching scenes in any Disney movie where Bambi's mother sacrifices herself to save Bambi, there is animation of the two of them eating from a patch of grass. Bambi's mother hears something in the forest and lifts her head and turns to see what the noise could be. Well, if you happen to look very closely, you can actually find these two deer in not only The Rescuers, but also in The Jungle Book. Technically, it's unclear whether or not it's supposed to be Bambi and his mother, but I'm just assuming that the animators wanted to have some more wildlife, and so they happened to lift this animation right out of Bambi. And while Bambi doesn't appear with his mother in this final instance, Bambi's mother does also appear at the very beginning of Beauty and the Beast. And you can see her towards the bottom at the very beginning in the opening sequence. So fun and such a wonderful tribute to one of Disney's most heroic mothers of all time to include her in some of the other Disney animated movies. But next we move on up to number eight on my list, which is kind of a one-off instance where a movie copies itself, which is Sleeping Beauty. Now Sleeping Beauty is very infamous for being such a detailed Disney movie. The backgrounds in this movie, if you happen to pause at any specific moment, truly could be a work of art that you hang up on the wall. The animation is detailed, the music is rich and beautiful, and if you look very closely during a few key scenes, you might notice the same animation of specific characters is being reused. So next time you watch Sleeping Beauty, keep a keen eye out for the trumpet players at the beginning of the movie, Maleficent laughing not only in the first scene, but also in the last scene that you can see her as Maleficent when she's on top of her tower, the two scenes where where Maleficent disappears, which is at the christening of Princess Aurora, and also right after Aurora pricks her finger on the spinning wheel. When Maleficent is walking around her castle, you can see her do the exact same cape flourishing, both when her goons are present and after they have been lightning away. <laughs> When Maleficent gets angry and throws her arms up like this, that is reused twice in this movie. Prince Philip riding his horse is another instance of a lot of reused animation. And the last one that really sticks out to me is a specific shot of Prince Philip looking very concerned while also riding Samson. <laughs> There is a lot of reused animation in Sleeping Beauty alone that I feel like a lot of people don't really pick up on because it's within the same movie. But next time you watch the movie, keep a sharp eye out and see if you can find any others. But next we'll move on up to number seven on my list, which is a fight scene that takes place not only in Mr. Toad, but also in The Jungle Book. In the film Ichabod and Mr. Toad, there is a brief fight scene within Toad Hall where the deed is being fought over between a few different characters. The deed is snatched away from multiple different characters within this scene, and there are also two bonks on the head from different characters. Well, if you happen to pay attention in the film The Jungle Book, there is also a fight sequence between Baloo and King Louie over Mowgli. Mowgli in this scene replaces the deed that you see in Mr. Toad, and the other characters from Mr. Toad are rotoscoped over with the different characters from The Jungle Book. It's really fun to see it side by side because it's really something you wouldn't pick up on unless it's right in front of your face. And really cool that it happens to be in a fight sequence. I love this instance of reused animation. But next we move on up to number six on my list, which is the reused animation between Mowgli and Christopher Robin. Now in Winnie the Pooh and The Jungle Book, there are two different scenes which are the same, but they're different scenes in the movies, where we see the characters of Mowgli and Christopher Robin walking through the woods. It is quite a longer sequence than a lot of other things on this list, so this one definitely might be a little bit easier to spot, but the characters of Mowgli and Christopher Robin both climb on top of this rock or like little hill. They also walk a very narrow path, both of them on different terrain, but you might notice that their movements are very, very similar, and that is because this scene is rotoscoped over the previous animation. This is one that I love to point out because it's super easy to see and anybody can spot it when it's side by side. But with that, we have reached number five on my list of reused animation and audio, and we're gonna get into some audio. Because I bet you didn't know that between the films of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and Sleeping Beauty, there is a reused crying sound. 
As if you remember at the very end of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, when the dwarves believe that Snow White has passed away, they hold a very brief funeral within the cottage, and we can see the dwarves grieving over the loss of the fair princess. Well, take an attentive listen to this clip where Dopey cries on Doc's shoulder. <laughs> Now, keep that sound in your head, because we're going to move on over to Sleeping Beauty. During the scene when Princess Aurora is gifted her crown, having it placed on her head and knowing that she probably will never see the man that she met in the woods again, she begins to cry. Take a listen. Now, dear, go. How cool, right? Who knew that Dopey and Sleeping Beauty cry the same way. <laughs> this is just a fun little detail that I love to catch every time I watch these animated movies. Next we're moving on up to number four on my list, which is a scene that is undeniably rotoscoped, because sometimes I even have trouble telling the difference between the two movies. But the scene I am referring to is the Joust, which you can find in the 1957 Disney animated short The Truth About Mother Goose, and also in The Sword and the Stone. Now, if I sit back and just show you this footage, it is undeniable that these scenes are lifted right from each other and reused. This is a shot-by-shot -shot recreation with only very minor color adjustments and some tweaking to the backgrounds, but these two men who are jousting must have taken the exact same jousting course because there is no denying the similarities between these two scenes. Next we're moving on up to number three on my list, and we're gonna get into some dance lessons that the Disney princesses must have taken, as there is reused animation between Belle and the Beast and Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip. Who doesn't love a happily ever after happy ending? And Disney animators must have thought to themselves that Sleeping Beauty's ending was so beautiful that who wouldn't love to see it again at the very end of Beauty and the Beast? You might remember that there is a long shot of both princesses and princes dancing with each other, surrounded by a crowd of viewers to watch their final dance together. While Sleeping Beauty and Prince Philip's dance fades into a beautiful cloud scene for the very end, Belle and the Beast dance together right before there is a fade out to the stained glass. Well, if you happen to side by side line up the two dances, you can see that this is actually reused animation. It's a little difficult to see because as we're zooming in on Philip and Aurora, we're actually zooming out on Belle and Beast. They turn at the very same time and there's also the very same flourish at the very end where the princess's skirt will fly out to the side as they stop dancing. And I'm not gonna lie, it's magical in both instances and I absolutely love that these princesses probably took the exact same royal dance class. <laughs> But with that, we're moving on up to number two on my list, which is yet another reused audio clip, which you can also find between the films of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves and Sleeping Beauty. But this time we're moving on to the villainesses. And while many of you may know that two of my favorite Disney villains of all time are Maleficent and the Evil Queen, the two of these incredible characters actually share a very special detail in their final scene. And yes, we are talking about the villainess's demise. At the very end of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the queen is chased up a rocky cliff by the Seven Dwarves. When the lightning strikes near her feet, she falls back off of the cliff and we hear a very distinct scream by actress Lucille Laverne, who voiced the character of the evil queen and the old hag. Take a listen. <laughs> What a beautiful delivery on that final scream. So beautiful that it was actually reused for Maleficent's demise in the film Sleeping Beauty. As right after Prince Philip throws the Sword of Truth and it strikes Maleficent, you can hear the exact same scream that was used in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Roll clip. Thou Sword of Truth fly swift and sure, that evil die and good endure. How cool is that? And even cooler that it comes from two of my favorite Disney villains of all time. But with that, friends, we have reached number one on my list of favorite reused animation and audio in Disney movies, which is the dance sequence in Robin Hood. Now this scene is 
full of reused animation from other really cool dance sequences. Namely, sequences from the Aristocats and also from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Now, while there are multiple characters that are redrawn from previous animation, the easiest one to spot is Maid Marian, who is not only drawn from Duchess from the Aristocats, but also from Snow White in the Silly Song sequence, where she is dancing with all of the dwarves. Now, I'm not gonna lie, Snow White's dance sequence with the dwarves is probably one of my favorite scenes in the entirety of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And to get to see it reused in this scene is so fun and it's so reminiscent and pays such a wonderful homage to the original. Seeing this instance of reused animation just fills my heart with joy and I absolutely love getting to see one of my favorite scenes reused in yet another wonderful Disney animated movie. Ah, oh, the magic lives on. And with that, friends, we have talked about 10 of my favorite instances of reused animation and audio in Disney animated movies. Thank you so much for joining me. I know today's video was a little bit shorter than normal, but I promise you next week we are back to the full length videos. <laughs> and believe me, you're going to want to stick around because I have a really fun one planned. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe down below so that way you never miss out on future magic from me. And you can also find me on any of my other social medias at Nikki Mara with two Y's and two R's. And you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. I want to thank you all so much for all the love and support on all of the content so far. I am so glad that you have loved all of my ranking videos. And with this video specifically, I am planning to start another playlist on this channel, which is Secrets About Disney's Animated Movies. And I cannot wait to add to this playlist moving forward. And with that being said, I'm also going to leave a link up above to a playlist that includes all of my Disney rankings in case you want to find out all of my Disney favorites. And as always, I love getting to connect with you guys down in the comments about all of these wonderful Disney characters and Disney movies. So make sure to leave all of your thoughts down below and let me know your favorite instance of reused audio and animation in Disney movies. Thank Thank you again so much for watching. Stay magical, enjoy the rest of your week, and I'll see you all real soon.